This is a security message. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transportation Police on 610016. So you're going to explain what we're doing? Okay, yes. We're in Euston today and we're going to get the train up to Crewe to go and look at a boat. That's it. <laughs> what else do I say? London Northwestern Railway service to Crew. So while we're on the train, shall I give you a bit of background on how we got here? Starting with, why did we decide to buy a boat? I've always been drawn to the idea of living on a canal boat, but I couldn't tell you exactly why. It just felt like a good vibe. I like the idea of it. I grew up in Greater London near the Thames, so maybe a bit of the boating bug sunk in then. And since my boyfriend and I have been living in London proper, we were just a short walk away from the canal in Camden and in King's Cross. So narrow boats have always been around. And when I heard about people living on canal boats, I thought I'd quite like to do that. I don't think anyone I know thought I was being serious though, but I was serious. Over lockdown and the pandemic era, I started doing some research into what that really meant and deep diving into canal forums and that kind of thing, watching YouTube videos of people doing it, watching videos on why you shouldn't do it, also very important, but it wasn't really with any specific goal in mind. I do kind of love a research project. Last year in 2022, as the cost of living crisis was at the forefront of everyone's minds in the UK, our landlord warned us that our rent would be going up at the next renewal, which got us discussing our options and whether we could afford to stay in our flat and whether we even wanted to try. We loved our flat. We'd been renting it for nearly eight years, but it was expensive and another rent rise along with the rise in energy bills and the cost of living in general would make it unaffordable for us. Our flat had lovely big windows and high ceilings, but it was only partially double glazed and had a really old boiler. It was horribly energy inefficient and a nightmare to heat. And that was before the energy costs skyrocketed. So that was definitely a factor. We worked out that in eight years we had spent over £250,000 on rent and I've generally been fairly content being a renter. I'm not someone who looks at renting as throwing money away, but this seemed like a good moment to reassess our situation. The rental market in London at the time was mad, still is, so moving to another rented flat wasn't sparking loads of joy. Buying a house or a flat was not on the cards whatsoever. And that's when my boat plan started becoming less of a hypothetical and more of a tangible option on the table for consideration. It obviously wasn't entirely solely financially motivated. The idea of being able to move around and travel the UK and bring our home along was really exciting. Neither of us are drivers, so we weren't considering a kind of camper van situation. Uh, a narrow boat means that we could travel the UK waterways, see some of the beautiful countryside, stay in cities we hadn't visited previously, and we could also come back to London, which was ideal because I'm not sure that I want to leave London for good. It's our home, we love it here. But also, we're really looking forward to having some adventures and travelling around the rest of the country. We're at a stage in our lives where we're not tied down geographically because we can live or work anywhere. And this felt like something that wouldn't always be the case. We wouldn't always be able to do that. And now actually may be the perfect time. And the final factor was that Andrew comes from a family of narrowboaters and actually grew up on a boat. So while I had never been on a houseboat in my life, he had experience. So it seemed viable to do. It wasn't a totally ridiculous idea. And at least one of us would know the basics and I obviously would learn. But I was definitely the one persuading him at the start. He wasn't keen on this concept at all. He's on board now, obviously, literally on board of the boat. But first we had to find the right boat. I looked at about one million boats online and in real life we saw two. 
One was in London and the people selling it were lovely and very helpful, but it wasn't what we were looking for because we needed more space because we want to work and it wasn't big enough and maybe it also needed a bit more work than what we wanted to do initially. We briefly considered a wide beam, which is like a double wide houseboat, but discounted that because it's quite limited where it can travel, which is definitely one of the reasons that we wanted a narrow boat. So we wanted to be able to cruise rather than live on a permanent mooring. And a lot of the really good boats are outside of London in the Midlands or up north, which meant that we couldn't just easily pop up and see loads of them. We needed to find something that we were really interested in before it'd be worth the trip. And then we found this boat, which we loved immediately and seemed perfect for us. So that's how we ended up on a train to Cheshire to look at the second boat, which we hoped might become ours. looking at the boat it's a 70 foot um, canal boat narrow boat and we're hoping that this will be our boat um, we just had a look around it we love it it's really great inside love the layout love the outside it's really nicely maintained and we're hoping that if we put our offer in that it will become Empty boat tour. Boat we don't own yet tour. So this is the living space. This is our hatch. That's where the swans are gonna come and attack us from. This is the kitchen. I love it. And we've got my future office with this all gone. This is gonna be my office area. Walk-in wardrobe. Lots of space. And then Andrew's work den, bathroom, den. oh sorry did I just slam the door on you, apologies, and then coming in, I was going to say at the rear, it's not because it's at the front, our big ass double bed, incredibly cosy, what else do you need, oh there's someone walking by, hello,
we just put an offer in on a boat and it got accepted, so we're getting a boat. We're getting a boat. Land in. Land in. Bastille's gonna get that vlog called. Get the raincoat. Yeah. Because I feel like there'll be a lot of walking in the rain. Piloting the boat in the rain. I need a waterproof coat. Might get a matching waterproof hat. Today we bought a boat. We saw a boat and now we have had our offer accepted? Accepted. Our unofficial offer accepted on our boat. Tomorrow it'll be accepted officially and then it'll be our boat. They bought a boat. They bought a boat. 